Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a mid-afternoon update of the European markets for Wednesday trading session, the 7th of September 2016. Okay, now let's try and uh, decipher exactly what's the uh, version of events uh, today. Okay, so first of all, Asian markets, Nikkei down overnight on a stronger yen. You have the USDJPY now languishing at the 101 level. Uh, from the 104 markets very complacent at present certainly ignoring the uh, strength in the yen and ignoring the potential risk now again uh, talk of uncertainty with regards to future action from the boj obviously they'd uh, put their eggs in the uh, the fed rate hike basket and that certainly isn't coming to fruition now and so they're stuck okay so given the fact that um, they wanted to uh, given the, i think there's a lot of criticism now as well whether or not their so-called QE policy is working, given the fact that uh, there certainly seems to be no inflation at all, no growth, etc., etc. So, back to square one for the BOJ, and uh, you can attribute that to the uh, the actual U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve uh, to a large part. Now, again, it's whether or not they are going to attempt to uh, turn talk the currency down, which I think they want to refrain from. The hundred level is certainly hurting, and we seem to be going back right back down towards it. So USD JPY is in is in is in trouble given the fact that weaker economic data yesterday from the US certainly has hurt the uh, potential ability to uh, increase the uh, rate. And again, equity markets certainly following suit given the fact that uh, everybody is searching for yield, and you did actually see a uh, a big rally in the Nasdaq yesterday. Now, whether or not that rally is actually justified and has legs is yet to be seen. Okay, is it just a knee jerk reaction to the fact that uh, uh, the Fed is um, it's not going to be raising rates and therefore individuals are searching for yield and uh, whether or not that's actually organic strength and based on fu strong fundamentals that's strong fundamentals certainly is questionable okay certainly is questionable especially given the fact that we had concerns with regards to apple tax also we've got the iphone 7 today which really has nothing new to offer no innovation etc that's not actually going to spur any sales and so again it certainly is um uh, is is comes to question really is whether or not we can actually justify the markets moving higher on the back of search for yield i mean is that the only reason that these equity markets are going higher other than the fact that uh, we have weaker global growth uh, economic data this morning again yesterday we had weaker german data this morning again industrial production certainly coming in on the weaker side so again cause for concern okay uh, and again the current account for france certainly coming on the weaker side Although the exports uh, export picture in France certainly held stable, came in in line with expectations. Okay, but the trade balance certainly uh, certainly worsening as well to a large extent, and the imports certainly increasing as well. So, uh, our UK house prices certainly coming in on the weaker side. Uh, UK manufacturing production on the weaker side as well. So again, cause for concern there too. Okay, so it's this global growth concern that certainly seems to be uh, uh, dominating, and again. Can equity markets move higher without that growth? Uh, and are they solely going to rely on central banks keeping an easier monetary policy? Now, again, that's the question. Now, Ms. Uh, Ms. Ms. Yellen has stated that she wants to uh, raise rates, and that certainly doesn't seem to be um, being believed. Well, certainly the markets don't believe it, uh, and uh, certainly is just all theory as opposed to any action at present. Okay, now let's look at the actual uh, technical picture. Just bear in mind that you do have Mr. Carney speaking today. Mr. Cunliffe as well, uh, uh, US uh, data in terms of red book mortgage applications have come in slightly weaker, red book jolts, okay, and then obviously GDP estimate for the UK as well, uh, Fed's bait book, and uh, we also have the API weekly crude oil stock, so again, that's going to be quite important given the fact that it did actually move the market quite substantially last week, okay. Right, let's look at the technical picture now, so uh, the German DAX on the daily chart, uh, again, Miss Merkel's party losing elections at home, anti-immigration sentiment okay uh, mr draghi isn't actually seen doing much at all especially with the euro now running to 1.1250 again that is indicated or it does in in, in being is, is actually interpreted as being a, a risk aversion trade so therefore consider that to be risk off and therefore looking for weakness especially i mean we should be looking for weaknesses based solely based on the fact that you have the yen and the euro moving higher when the yen and the euro start to move higher that generally represents risk off and you should expect the markets to move lower. Now, whether or not the markets are staying afloat due to light volume, given the holiday uh, blues, again, given the fact that we have come back off Labor Day, okay, hmm. again, let's just keep observing the market. Now, the German DAX at the moment, daily chart is into resistance and remains there. 
60 minute chart you have this bear flag formation certainly isn't playing out even with the weaker uh, production data certainly is not playing out at all okay so again holding resistance for now on the german dax and there's no real catalyst to propel it higher especially with the political uncertainty at home in germany with merkel potentially losing uh, her spot as a uh, uh, as a future candidate etc so again from my perspective, arguments would be for the Berry side. Okay, so German DAX again looking for weakness on the German DAX. Okay, into horizontal resistance. The French CAC at the moment, let's bring up the daily chart first and foremost. Again, it's that gap fill level. Gap fill level is holding. It's a doji candle within yesterday's bearish engulfing candle. So, again, bearish consolidation from my understanding. 60 minute chart, you can clearly see the bearish consolidation of markets. So, consolidating within that red candle. Given the fact that, like I said, weaker trade balance data today, weaker factory industrial production data, the French CAC certainly seems like it wants to test the 4480 zone. So watch out for 4480 below. 10 minute chart of the French CAC. Let's just have a look here. Intraday high holding thus far. Okay, so again, like I said, I'm looking for a break. So this uh, rising contracting type wedge pattern. Okay, looking for it to break lower. Certainly looking for weakness here. If we do push higher, then obviously you have resistance in this zone here at 4.455. But for now, 4.450 certainly seems to be capping any uh, potential upside movement. Again, a, a test of the uh, previous resistance equals support. And then obviously gap filled below. So certainly looking for that gap to be filled. So it's all about that gap given the stronger euro hurting exports Okay, going forward. In terms of the FTSE 100, folks, okay, we certainly seem to be consolidating. No real movement higher. Even though I did expect that, given the fact that US markets certainly pushed the highs, FTSE certainly isn't buying that at all. All eyes on Mr. Carney and what he has to uh, utter. Uh, and then obviously the markets will react accordingly. 60 minute chart, again, holding previous resistance equals support. So again, you have to respect that. And let's see exactly how the markets react uh, when we get there. Okay, so for now, holding that potential support around the 6620, 6630. And then you have uh, potential support below at uh, 6720 as well. So watch out for 6720 and the FTSE on the downside. But FTSE certainly showing uh, inherent weakness uh, regardless. So again, looking for weakness there. Although it's quite ironic because it should be European equities that should be showing weakness as opposed to the FTSE. But um, certainly is the opposite way around, even with the uh, USD, uh, Aussie and the uh, Kiwi flying higher as well. So certainly some sort of divergence going on there. Obviously, Mr. Carney's speech is going to be important and the FTSE will react accordingly. In terms of the Euro stocks, let the last but not least Euro stocks, let me just bring this up for you. Euro stocks at the moment, again, bear flag on the 60 minute chart, daily chart, double top, okay, or horizontal resistance, and the 10 minute chart, again, looking for weakness again. Uh, I did actually, I was actually short, and uh, currently plus 10 at one time, plus 12, expecting that 55 level to be tagged, and that hasn't been tagged. So looking for that 55 level to be tagged and potentially lower. So again, bias remains weak given a stronger year. On that note, folks, I wish you uh, bid you farewell. I wish you uh, a good trading day. Uh, please be sure to visit CFDs.com, your specialist in spread betting CFD brokerage, and take advantage of that 25% bonus. Goodbye.